Uh, in example one, um, we're just looking at um, calculating the final GM of the vessel. We know that GM is KM minus KG. In the problem we're told that KM constant is 6 metres. So if we can find the KG, subtract that from the KM and of course that's our GM. As we go through the book, KM won't be constant, we'll need to look it up in our hydrostatic particulars, but for this example it, it's constant. When we draw up the table, the first value you must always put in, without exception, is your initial displacement. Put that in straight away, 12,000, and our initial centre of gravity, our kg, is 5.8. We've loaded three parcels of cargo and, and discharged one parcel. When we load cargo, we add the, the weight and, of course, add the moments. Discharge cargo, discharge the weight, subtract the moments. The final kg is always the total moments divided by the total weight. And then we have the calculation here. And the final kg was 5.93. Therefore, the final gm is the 6 meters minus 5.93, which is 0 0.07 of a meter. And that's how we would get the final gm by using the, the tables. And you can see this initially our kg started off at 5.8 central gravity and now it's gone to 5.93. That in effect is what we've calculated. Incidentally, if you were moving cargo from one position to another, you would put a minus sign from where you were moving it from. So it's say minus 200 tonnes at 5.8, then plus 200 tonnes at 2.3. So wherever you're moving it from and to, you would do two values in the table the two weights would cancel each other out because of course it's still on the vessel but you would get the correct moments on this side here. So that, that's a fairly straightforward example of calculating the final kg and of course the final gm.